Hi, Pagan Shooter here. Uh, I'm back with uh, one of my recent purchases. Uh, this is an American Tactical uh, Omni Hybrid AR-15 lower. Now, I have not owned an AR-15 before, and I didn't want to uh, invest a lot to uh, see if I liked it. However, I do like the idea of having a modular uh, weapon system that I can swap out any piece that I choose uh, and essentially build it out to my liking. Uh, I also like the fact, uh, the idea of having a, um, a weapon system that I can change the caliber by simply changing out the uppers and having multiple uppers for the same lower and being able to use that same weapon as different types of rifles for different type of uses. Um, so my initial plan was I got this lower. It's uh, included the single stage trigger, uh, the uh, buffer tube and stock, as well as grips um, and all the internals. Um, and for a decent price, a pretty fair price, I believe I only paid 140 for this, um, including shipping. And it is going to fulfill what I need for right now. Um, and I have, if I don't like any piece of this, I can then go and replace what I don't like. Um, I decided to go with the Omni lower and the hybrid lower because it is a lighter lower and it felt quite stiff to me. Um, some of the uh, metal or aluminum lowers that you see have a little give to them. There's very little tolerances. The metal on them or the uh, coating on them scratches really easy. And I thought that the uh, fiberglass polymer combo that they have would give me a stiffer outer. Um, and make it feel a little more rigid. Uh, the other thing I liked about this is the, uh, the use of metal to reinforce the uh, innards. Uh, if you look, and I'll show you real quick on this camera, there around the buffer tube is a zinc alloy inner that uh, reinforces that area. Uh, also down here at this back pin, or the back pin area, you'll see that there's also reinforced with uh, zinc alloy. Um, the lower itself is, like I said, polymer. It's a fiberglass polymer combination, but it feels pretty sturdy in the hand. But, however, it's really light. You can hear that it is a plastic sound. Um, and I've noticed that it feels really light, but it feels really good in the hand. The, the uh, trigger guard is expanded, so you could fit a gloved hand in here. And I have tested it. I have some very large winter gloves that I, I use for scraping the uh, snow off the car. And uh, they actually fit perfectly fine in here. None of my other guns will accept those, those fingers. Um, it is set up so you can switch the uh, the safety from right to left handed um, however the uh, magazine eject is only right only on the right hand side um, it has a fairly decent trigger that comes with it uh, feels probably about about a four pound trigger um, and for a stock out of the box directly from the manufacturer I wouldn't complain about that. I mean, it's not as smooth a trigger as my uh, 300 Win Mag. However, I, I can see that it's actually a decent trigger. Once again, being a modular piece, I am able to go ahead and swap that out if I choose. Um, the Magwell actually is bezeled out, uh, something that you don't normally see, and I'll show you here is actually bezeled out, something you don't normally see with a stock AR lower, uh, especially with the metal ones. And I found that to be quite interesting, so when you're putting in your next mag, 
it actually is going to help you guide it in. Now, a lot of people pay extra for one of those, and that's I thought that to be quite decent. Um, the lower itself came with a, and this is a Rogers Super Stock. I'm not sure about the stock. Um, however, that could easily be replaced. It uh, is adjustable. Uh, so California is probably going to have to register this. Um, so essentially, to adjust it, you push in on this little lever here with your thumb, and you slide it in and out. You slide it in and out to whatever size you want. I have it all the way out. And then, once you get to the size you want, right here is a lock. And then you can lock it in place, and it becomes sturdy and rigid. There is no wiggle. There is no movement on that at all. Um, so, I may change out the stock. It's not bad, but it, I may end up changing that out at one point. Uh, it does come with a uh, sling tie right here, so you can uh, attach a sling if you choose, a single point sling, on either side. Um, and the pin, it's pretty much all together when you got it. Uh, one thing I've noticed is the pins are extremely tight. Um, they are very difficult to get in and out. Um, however... Uh, with some work, and I've just recently added a little bit of grease in the channels, I think it should smoothen up a little bit and make it a little easier. However, it could be the pins were just uh, not very good pins, or the detent is getting ca caught too easily. Um, but eventually wearing, I think, would help it. Uh, a little gentle tap with a small hammer moves it along a little bit, and then should be able to get the upper end. Um... As far as the feel of it, it feels sturdy. It feels like it'll be a, a uh, decent weapon system. Um, I don't feel any wiggle at all from the stock. Uh, my initial plan is to get a 5.56 or a 223 Wild uh, upper and put it on this. Uh, probably going to go with the 5.56. Um... And then, from there, I was considering getting the 22 Long Rifle co uh, conversion kit for it. And possibly stepping up to either a 300 Blackout or a 308. Uh, that's probably the highest I would be willing to go with the Polymer Lower. Um, I know that the 50 uh, Beowulf is capable is possibility on most uh, lowers. However, I'm not sure how much stress this lower is going to take. So I may not go that high. And eventually, I may just replace the lower and then create this one into a 22. Uh, uh, just keep it as a 22 or a 223. Um, but as far as this being my first AR-15 lower, I think I've uh, made a good decision just to test it out and see if it's something I like. If I don't, my investment isn't that uh, massive, and I think the resellability of this would be uh, pretty decent. Um, as far as that goes, uh, I was pretty impressed with the uh, speed that this came. I did get it from Buds. Unfortunately, there was some shipping issues, but they took care of it very quickly, and uh, apparently they uh, have stepped up their game quite a bit. Um, so as far as AR-15s, fill me in. What do you think of the polymer lowers? Uh, have you guys seen any of the, uh, polymers with the reinforced metal give out? I haven't seen any problem with it. I have seen with the non-reinforced polymers, but the reinforced seemed to interest me a little bit and I wanted to give them a try. Um, it has a lifetime warranty, so if something does go wrong with that, I have a feeling that they would cover that. Um, but, uh, go ahead and give me your feedback. Leave me a comment. Um, go ahead and like, subscribe, share if you found this interesting at all. Uh, go ahead and, uh, let me know. This is Pagan Shooter, and, uh, good shooting.